So today's video is about web scrapping in Python using beautiful soup and one of the viewers have requested for this video. So I am um, okay so we'll go on to understanding first of all what is web scrapping. So web scrapping simply means that you want to obtain certain information gather certain information from the web. By the way, this is the website wherein I will provide the link so that you can go ahead and see the theory part of it. So why do you need web scrapping? Uh, it is just to analyze the data. You want to gather information faster. You want to find out the hidden trends, draw insight and so on. So um, also for projects, for project work, we are doing uh, web scrapping. So if you want to find out whether it is legal to do web scrapping or it is not legal, so there's one way to do that. Um, after the after the site ends, you just append this robots.txt, which will tell you whether it allows allow scrapping or not so i just have just given it in here so you just go and click this uh, flip card robot and this thing and you will find that what it has disallowed and what it has allowed so my site is on web wordpress and this also does not allow uh, web scrapping in crawlers okay but if you use certain uh, follow certain rules which they provide you might be able to scrap this site also so uh, this is what i found out because it's 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 a uh, good in protection so you can you know uh, trust wordpress on that okay so now the examples for uh, web scrapping i would say that it is used for like uh, scrapping various tweets uh, of twitter on on what is trending you can um, scrap the reviews ratings of amazon okay and uh, details about job openings the portals you can scrap the email IDs and you can then send bunk emails on those and you can spam, you know, people and you'll be blacklisted after that. Okay, fine. <laughs> so now we walk on to web scrapping. So now this is the things I've written. You can understand these things, um, the definitions and stuff. Now, how do you collect the data? How do you collect data from the internet? You've got tons of data and you get everything here in the internet so there are two ways to collect first is apis and that is application programming interface now these are something which allow you to access the data in a predefined manner and you don't have to really inspect the data the process is very simple but at times you do not have apis so you have to access that page in html format hypertext markup language this is not a programming language guys please this is just a just a language okay and and this is the way you you just uh, design a web page and um, you visually present contents to the user using html and css is giving adding certain styles to html page and you use javascript and json in that for interaction uh, with the users so now i would um, come to web scrapping so there are various ways in uh, python wherein you can perform this web scrapping and in this um, video we'll be discussing beautiful soup and then okay i i am just in this uh, publishing mode here so um you've got beautiful soup scrappy request selenium and you've got lxml these are the web scrapping libraries available in python and uh, as per your wish you can use any of these libraries but i'm working with beautiful soup because of its uh, added advantage that that's it it is uh, having an inbuilt encoding that means i don't have to encode every time i pass a code in python so that's what you will read here it has got automatically detect encoding and stuff so and it is very good to parse you know your xml and html file and one more important thing here is that this uh, beautiful soup libraries you know it can parse what html parsing libraries like html5 lib x lxml html.parser so in in this project we'll be using this x html.parser okay so we'll start with the project and uh, i will show you one more thing before starting the project is that this website so don't get don't worry about this thing i'll tell you everything so this is the website the link will be provided this is national weather service now is it legal to scrap this website content yes because it is in public domain so i can i can um, you know, inspect the data. So I have this my Jupyter notebook. If you do not have Beautiful Soup installed, please install it either in your Jupyter notebook by the command pip install bs4, or if you want its installation in your 
Anaconda command prompt, then just write conda install and this forge this anaconda beautiful soup, okay, by this command. So I have this installed. So what I do is I simply import request. Now this is another library which would help me get this uh, website, okay. Just simply like downloading this website. So I'll, I will use it request for that and this get function will get this website and from bs4 i will import this beautiful soup all right okay now what i am doing just just be with me and have patience and we'll just rock this okay so in an object called page i will request i will i will um, invoke this library and i will tell it to get this page which page this page okay i will provide the link don't worry now what i do is i create this object called soup okay and here it is beautiful soup I, I invoke this beautiful soup library and I tell it page.content. It will get all the contents of the page. It will be downloaded. Okay. And these will be the object of beautiful soup now. Okay. Every content. And I will use the HTML parser. So HTML parser will parse this entire page. Okay. Just like going through the entire page. That's what I'm telling it to do. Now the thing comes. Um, now this if I want to tell you this another object which is seven day okay now let us uh, now how to proceed this you go to this extended forecast and right click on this go to inspect control shift plus I inspect make sure you are on this elements okay and now when you click on this elements, first of all, there's a little understanding of HTML which is required here, which is a very simple syntax. Just like you can see head, when you scroll over body, you can see the body, you can see the main class, you can see the header, navigation, and you can see this tag as div. Now, I want you to specifically pay attention to this div. This is content area. I don't want this. What I want is I want this today, tonight, Saturday. I want to retrieve this information. I will simply go down more down more down okay you can see this id seven day forecast just click on this and you can see here that i'm getting this id and when i click over this i hover over this i can see this blue do this blue entire uh, being highlighted and it discovers the entire san francisco extended forecast right classes panel now if i close this if you can see that the entire entire thing entire tags which are coming behind uh, beneath this gets hidden so that means that the seven day forecast is coming under this tag now i want a class i i want to i want to discover the class of this seven day forecast so that i can retrieve the entire information so how do i do that see simply just click on this copy and go to the copy element okay you copy this element you go to console and here you just simply paste it got it okay so I got everything here. Now, can you see this, this tag ID seven day forecast and its class. Now I wanted the class of this, um, this seven day forecast list. And what is the class? This is the forecast Tom Stone. Can you find this list here? The class. Now this li is called the list item list. The item in the list is this forecast Tom Stone. Now, listen to this very carefully that this is the parent element which must be contained, this class. That's why I was searching for this class because this is the parent element that has to be contained. So now I'll be using this class. I will be using the seven day forecast. Okay, let's get back to the code. Now I am using this. I've created an object called seven day which will find the soup. Now I will invoke the soup dot find what seven day forecast ID. Okay, this will find this seven day forecast, whatever I give. And then in another forecast items, what I will give here is seven day dot find all what class tombstone container. So these objects, whatever I want, these items, they will be contained in this class and I'm going to find them here from this class. Okay. Now I, I just want to retrieve a few information so as to so as to show you. So what I do is I create an object called today in that I give forecast items. And the container item element is zero, the list. And I just give it print tonight.prettify. Now, uh, beautiful soup uses this prettify to just print everything, the content I have in that function. So now I get this as an output. 
So you can see I got everything here. So this beautiful soup is using all the fancy names, right? Petify, beautiful soup and every stuff like that. So now you get the class as uh, Tombstone container. You get the class as the paragraph here, P. The period name is what? Today. Then you get here the image image uh, title here. This is today. Rain likely after 4 p.m. and blah, blah, blah. And then you come here. Then you get here class as short description. That is partly sunny. Then you find here another class, which is temperature high, which is 57 degrees Celsius. So I found three things here of importance. That is the period name. Okay. I got the short description, which is partly sunny and then rain, likely. Okay. And I got temperature. Now, remember one thing. I have just got an element of uh, the first container. If I can just show you this one, the zero one. Now, what if I want it for another containers like uh, the first element so for the first element what i get i get here again the class is the same tombstone container this is the parent class which is very important that's why i have given it here for all class now you can skim through all the days with this class okay this will just help you and lead you to all the childs so now this parent is leading me to the another child which is in the first list first item container and that is tonight okay the first in this list is tonight tonight first right now uh, whatever description is there i'm gonna read it and as you can see your temperature of falling to near 51 by 9 pm and so on now let's understand this too what if, if i give here two so it will give me saturday okay so you can see here i get the class period name saturday i get the short description Chance rain, high temperature, 61 degree Fahrenheit. So let's revert it back to tonight because the element resonates with this element. Okay. Now this was the description of getting the entire text with the help of this code. Now what if I want to extract certain information or scrap certain information from the page? So I have shown you here when you were inspecting. Now uh, remember here carefully that um, it is difficult with here to you know find the class and go ahead. Uh, like here also you can find this class short description but it will come after you know really inspecting it quite minutely where is this class another class and another class of temperature and so on so if you just scrap it here it is very easy to find the class of uh, the various classes which have been defined under this parent class okay so this is what uh, the beauty of scrapping is okay so now i just uh, scrape information from here again now we have seen periods. We have seen the period that is uh, today, tonight, etc. So what I do is I, I uh, use the function called find. So today, from today object, I will find class period name dot get text, get text. So it will get the text and I will use the short description and again, create an object for short description just to extract specific information. Uh, then again, you can just write today dot find class and uh, short description from that class and dot get text temperature create another object and then you can just write today dot find class and then temperature dot get text so you can print the period short description and temperature and what you will get is this partly sunny then rain likely and what is that this was today what if if you write here tonight then you have to change everything here tonight okay then you have to write here saturday sunday whatever okay description you want the short description would be given instead of going through the entire description okay just specific information now if you want to get the image the title of it so you can just write create an object image and then parse through this thing so today dot find and then you have image another object here beautiful soup object and then you have this description what is it in this you will find you will store this uh, title and you will get this title today rain likely after 4 pm partly sunny with near 57 the high nearest 57 and so on okay now what if if i want to scrap all the information i want to know i want to find out all the periods i want to find out all the short description and temperature okay we will do that now so this is this is just for the first one and then we will find out the rest so what i did uh, did was in the period tags again you have the seven day dot select you know, you, we created the object before, if you remember. Yes. Okay. 
So we'll just do that. So we'll have it this seven day dot select. And what is the class? This is the container, Tomstone container dot period name. All right. Periods is equals to what? Again, in list, I will find in this list, I would use for loop so that I can get the name of all the periods. So pd, pt dot get text for pd in period tags. So these period tags is what? As you can see, I got the list of all the period tags. That is today, tonight, Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, and Tuesday. Okay. All nine, I suppose. Yeah. So I'm going a little fast because uh, I don't want to break the rhythm and momentum of it. Okay, slow down, slow down the, the, the speed if you want. So now I will, uh, let's, let's just uh, do it for short description, temperature and disc descriptions. Okay, so again, create do, again, again, just copy paste this, this same thing, but just change this object dot, that is SD dot get text and uh, for seven days select and just give the container class and dot short description. This will give you all the short descriptions. Then in temperature, again, get text and then run a for loop for that. It will get the temperature of entire, entire, entire list, okay, in a form of a list. And then you've got descriptions wherein you can get the image descriptions here. So when you run this code, you will get something like this, okay. So this is the entire description of all these periods and then you get the temperature. So, so like uh, today it's 57 degrees Celsius, tonight it is low 51 degree Fahrenheit, I'm sorry. And then so on, okay. And now, if you you have got this data, entire data, now you want to convert it into a data frame. So let's just convert this into convert it into data frame. Okay. So how do we convert this into a data frame? So simple by pandas. Okay. So pandas import pandas as pd in an object called weather. I will create this data frame in a form of again a dictionary. So I've got, I know I've got four columns here, which is uh, period, short description, temperature, and descriptions. So I created in the form of key and a value, and that is how I create the dictionary. And then I call this period, and this is how I get my data frame. So you can see here, weather, and then you can find the weather.info. And weather.info looks something like this, that you have got some... Uh, nine objects in all these all these columns and the data type is object but before that you'll have to change something here for you know um, this uh, temperature this becomes numeric rather than uh, an object or a string also you can find here like weather dot shape if you want and that is nine comma four so we have scrapped the seven day forecast uh, information into the simple simple format using beautiful soup in python and um, again again i would say that if you have another any problem in uh, any topic machine learning data science just let me know and um, just keep posting in the comment section any problems and uh, thank you for suggesting this web scrapping video i would be coming with more more uh, videos on this if you want um, say a yes if you want and um, yes, guys, yes, one more reminder that Pandas course is on the way and I'm going to launch it soon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.